Hello and welcome to the show and welcome to a very silly sort of racing. Uh, this is survival racing. We've tried a few maps in the past. This is a different one built by Lado. It's an awesome uh, little circuit. I mean, the actual race itself is very straightforward. We have a loop. It is a tiny, tiny loop uh, to drive the vehicles around. But we're not, you know, I mean, we're going to inevitably race because we always do. But the idea is to be the last one standing. As you can see at either end of the loop, there are some very big ramps. On those ramps, they're going to be some missile trucks. Their goal is to jump into the, I guess you could say, arena and squash cars. When you die, you will join the ranks of the missile trucks and chaos will inevitably, well, fall. The goal is going to be to try and go for 15 minutes. Uh, so at the two minute mark, we are going to get underway. Um, the goal is, is to survive for 15 minutes. The vehicles left standing at the end of 15 minutes will be victorious. Uh, although we may well have everybody dead long before then. We'll have to wait and see. The first truck is on its way. We can see it on the map. It's go Oh, I don't see where this is going. I am, you know what? Uh, so we're not allowed to stop and park up. Uh, however, we are allowed to slow down and let the missile truck go through. Oh! <laughs> Went through everyone. Oh, yeah, we're allowed to slow down. We aren't allowed to like briefly stop. You're not allowed to just sort of park and then hide at the end. You've got to roughly keep moving and everything. Um, oh, there's been, <laughs> there has been some torpedoing going on, and uh, oh, we were going to turn. Uh, we're going to try and keep Lado in a dangerous place, but it didn't work. Uh, Gliss is going for jumping over. Oh no, there's Gliss. Never mind. Lost sight of the uh, flying machine there. Bloody hell. Uh, it's. It's difficult to keep track of everything sometimes. We know the truck's going to be launching itself through the air, uh, and we can kind of see it on the mini-map, but uh, you're not going to be able to keep track of it every which way. Oh, I thought that was going further across. Ouch. That has hurt the front of my car. Could be worse. Okay, like a hit like that, I'm okay with. It'll damage the blister. Now, the blisters have got very, very good damage models. Uh, they're going to get crumpled. They potentially lose wheels. Can, all sorts of things can happen. A hit like that will hurt my car. But it's unlikely... Oh, my handling's a bit balked. Eh, if front suspension's wrecked. Hit like that? Yeah. It's going to make my car a little bit iffy. However... Uh, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. Where is that truck going? It's launching over us. That's fine. I can live with that. Uh, it's not going to blow me up as such. It's when the truck lands on you. That's the problem. This has gone through the middle. Everyone has just about managed to dive away from that. It is. It's like the old nature documentary, or say old the nature documentaries with a shark going through the big school of fish. That's uh, <laughs> that's what we've got going on there a little bit. Uh, I am actually at quite a good little point here because I've fallen back after the initial hit. Um, oh, Lado has got squished! That was a wonderful hit. Unlucky for a Lado there. It's a great hit. That was a great hit by uh, by Gliska. And that is yeah, an end of a Lado. Now there's two vehicles jumping in. So yeah, we want to try and survive till 17 minutes. That is a, la oh, a Lado was going to go transform and just got punted to orbit. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, I mean, we're like, oh, the Lado's got to go to get the transfer. That's just a little bit mistimed from some vehicles. I think a little bit of ghost mode might have played a part in that, for that's not have got blowing up. Um, it's just the way it goes. Oh crap. Oh, this guy is spinning wildly. We'll be over here. We'll be fine. Uh, so there's a few theories with the missile trucks, uh, how, how best to approach this. So the rule is, where you land, you're allowed to go down. So you can't just drive the missile trucks around on the platform. They'll be jumped. But you can just sort of full throttle it down here, you'll lose speed uh, and everything, but you, you know, the trucks are allowed to drive down the platform uh, and attempt to run stuff over, and that is a, a real concern. Yeah, getting, landing on, getting landed on would hurt, but uh, any any crush damage is, is the real fear, basically. Uh, oh, is that... Oh, no, Gliska overshot a little bit, and Lado's made a little bit of a roadblock. I think Lado's going to jump from the other side of the platform now. Yeah, he's going to go to the other, the other ramps. Okay. <sighs> we are all right. By the looks of it, no one else has really taken any extensive damage uh, so far. Uh-oh. Whoever's in front of us might be in trouble. <laughs> we got away with it. It is Stevie in front of us uh, for this. Yeah, our car is a little bit... Oh, you and the refs are gone. Ouch. <laughs> oh, dear. That was a good kill. I just saw the explosion in the distance. Okay, now this is getting difficult. Now this is going to be getting difficult, because you've now got to start looking multiple ways. When there's only one truck jumping, it's much easier to avoid it. We've got Lado coming in at speed. Uh, those two are still reset, so we've not quite got the second, the, the third and fourth truck, sorry, involved yet. 
uh, that they will be spawning in soon. Yeah, you just got to keep an eye on every direction you can and hope, hope that you see the incoming trucks. There's going to be a truck behind us here. Don't know where it's going to land. Oh, no, Stevie! <laughs> Sorry, ladder was going to land on me. I had to bail. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you can screw over your friends with that one. I don't know where the ladder would have actually landed on us. I think that might have jumped too far. Hard to say. However, I would rather bail and spin it off the nose of another car than risk that. Oh, that's a really big jump for a Ewan, I think. I don't know where it's going to come down. Oh, it's flipping wildly. Glisk has crushed, I think, Amy's car up against the wall that's somehow not dead. And the rest landed in. Might have hit something, but I didn't really see. There's a ladder. Uh, has bounced. Is Ladder going to have the control? Might try and torpedo. He's not going to have the speed. Yeah, they, I mean, they lose a lot of speed when they land because, I mean, they're missile trucks. Ewan is bouncing wildly out of control. I mean, that's difficult to deal with because it's just unpredictable. Uh, level 8 did a good dodge and then the Revs came in to try and finish off that uh, toothpaste mobile, uh, but have got away. It's going to survive 10 minutes of this. I'm not sure if we're going to do that, but we will try. I mean, this is actually the safest part is like here in the corner because the, the trucks don't jump short enough to really ever get there. The rest has gone the other. Okay, they've all gone the other side. Me and Stevie and Level Eight are all safe. Uh, Impega gets away with that one. That was quite lucky. Uh, there was a lot of a lot of trucks barreling towards Impega. Oh, we're about to have a truck jump at us here. Here comes a Lado, and there's a Ewan in front. Oh, Lado fell over. Ewan bounced. Yeah, I mean, the, the bouncing is incredibly spectacular, but it isn't as fearful. Uh, mostly because it's been like <laughs> it hits the ground and then it's immediately back up in the air again, so you can just drive under a bouncing truck. Risky, but you can do it. Uh, we've only got only Lado's gone this uh, gone to the other end. Uh, Ewan is just chucking that thing around. Oh, Blakey's had to abandon that plan. Blakey's lost a wheel in all of this. Oh, good God! Yeah, Blakey's on three wheels. Uh, said the blisters take heavy damage here. Um, I mean, yeah, mine was the first sizable hit, but mine is not going to be the worst conditioned car by the end of it. Uh, they can sometimes die in one hit, they often do, but they can also, depending on how they are hit, they can survive hits, they can lose wheels. Um, I mean, losing one wheel is not the end of the world! Oh! But it's not good! It's not good! Oh, we've made a photo! <laughs> I knew, I knew Lano was going to be approaching that. I just couldn't get, I mean, dodging everything in front of us. Oh, my car's handling's got drastically worse. <laughs> handling's got really bad. I can just see a shadow spiraling through the air. I mean, the Futo is, uh, we're not in a Futo, we're in a blister. But the Futo itself is naturally oversteering. And this thing is, woo, has become, has become a Futo. These are front wheel drive. Mine does not drive like a front wheel drive anymore. There is an out of control. Ewan. Oh! Tumbling. Oh! Ow! You know what? Actually, that is safer. I'd rather spin and hit with the back of my car. Like, that hit uh, at least spun me away from danger here. Oh, God, there's a car. There's a, there is a truck. No! Ugh. Ewan can, should just tumble like an Olympic gymnast down the road, although in a lot less control than Olympic gymnast. Gliska's killed a level 8. Oh, there is a Gliska. Oh, there's another truck jumping into this bloody platform. There's Oh, that has gone for a big jump. I don't know where that's coming down. I hope not near me. I can just see a shadow going. Uh, I'm trying to look around. There's a ladder. Oh, there's some mid-air collisions occurring. Uh, the drift mobile can round another corner. Not very well. Whoa, that's overhead. That was a little... Not quite timed so well for the uh, the white truck of Nareths there. Uh, I mean, okay, there's a still a good few of us going. There's still a good few of us going. We've got to survive for another seven minutes. Ewan and Lado are doing their best freestyle session uh, over there. Oh, that's that's going to overshoot us. That's overshooting us as well. That's fine. We can hug the wall. I mean, there's a little bit of safety by the wall, but not a huge amount, really. Uh, <laughs> the angle of my rear wheels is not healthy. Whoa, there's a truck somewhere there. Yeah, yeah that's why I wanted to go that way, <laughs> Stevie. <laughs> trying to use the you know, trying to use the mini max. I can't really, you can't really look up. You can't look up high enough to see some of these uh, incoming trucks. Oh, that's going to go there. And the rest is going to ping off the wall. I thought there was a truck coming from behind. Oh, it was, but Lando's tangled with the turquoise with the toothpaste machine. I think. Whoa, we have got very sideways there. Oh, Gliska is going to go and murder a Blakey. Team Orange, no. Oh, and Danger Man's got us. Whoa, hello. I was looking in the distance. This is bad news for all of us. Bad news for me, I'm included in the bad news. Oh, mishandling 
blister why <laughs> not looking forward to this oh uh, gliska i actually want to see so i like to see the truck being spun okay the reason why i prefer to see that yes it can block the road but if they chuck it sideways and try and make it wide if i miss it I'm okay. If they land it on its wheels, that's when they can, you know, still steer it a little bit and run me over later down the line, and I don't have much control. I would actually rather run head-on into a sideways truck than have one of it have the truck run me over, basically. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, level 8. Oh, thank God for that. Level 8 took a... Danger Man actually saved me in that one, as that thing was twisting its way down the road. Uh, Danger Man really did kind of save me there. Um, it managed to block the thing tumbling. Gliska is a little bit out of control. Tried to get some stuff, couldn't make it work. Uh, okay, so we're going to have one truck. I'm hoping it's going to jump over us. Uh, maybe here. Oh, it's Lado. We will go that side. Oh, God. That will try and block us off. There was another truck from somewhere going, heading from behind, but I didn't quite see where it was. Drifty Futo. Uh, <laughs> get around another corner. Oh, pfft. Someone's had a crash on the platform. That has oh got a lot of time to come down. I have gotta be careful. Like the sudden change of direction movements just don't work for me. There's a lot of understeer. Because uh, when we get them, ooh. yeah, when we suddenly change direction, oh, whoa, <laughs> that's got over us. All is fine. Longbow has been ejected out of that way. I, I don't know whether Longbow was going to join the ranks. Stevie's out. Where the Longbow was about to go join the ranks of the jumping trucks? Possibly. Oh god, I didn't even look that way. I was looking in the distance and Ewan's out of control and tumbling towards us and we're going to panic and get around this corner now because there's a lot of tumbling trucks. Oh, Lado save me! Thank you! Thank you, Lado! <laughs> I am safe! <laughs> oh, Gliska saved me as well! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> There's a. Sp I can see a spiraling shadow. I can see a Blakey. Oh, this is not fun anymore. This is getting very nerve wracking. We haven't got crazy long to survive, but it's going to be tough. There's a ladder. Where that's going to bounce, I'm not sure. The Revs has landed and is going to be on two wheels and will not have the control to get back to us. I'm stuck on the wall because the car doesn't turn anymore. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> And then dodge this one, and if there's anything coming from behind, I can't see it. I'm so glad my car oversteered at the right time there. Oh no, level 8. Oh, level 8 is going to get blocked by ladder. Oh, the trucks are working against themselves a little bit. Not intentionally, there's just so much missile truck jumping around. Oh, bugger me. Okay, no, that's fine. Longbow's crashed. Gliska's got stuck on the railing. Ewan's flipping down the road. Uh, I can't even see where trucks are. And it's just, a lot of this is just hope and pray now. Nareth is wildly spinning out of control. The curb almost killed me. <laughs> Danger Man is going to end up causing a little bit of a block. Actually, you know what? I'm fine here. We can take this corner slowly. Uh, we will let the mayhem of trucks go further down the road. I think there are three of the, them left. I think in Pega, me and Amy are the trucks that remain. Uh, in Pega... It's actually not a bad way, by the looks of it. Although it's hard to tell. The damage doesn't always sink, especially the extreme levels of damage we've got going on here. Uh, there's about to be a whole gaggle of trucks coming towards us. Uh, they are out of control. That's going to over overshoot. Blakey's going to overshoot. Mistimed it. Uh, Stevie is a problem. Oh. Nareth is a problem. Danger Man is a problem. All three of us are bunched up. I don't know whether this is a good plan or a bad plan. I feel like this is a bad plan, actually, all three of us being together. Amy's car doesn't look particularly healthy. Uh, all things said and done. Ow! Oh, now we're in. Now we're. Now we've made like a narrow. Oh, Impega's lost a wheel. Impega's lost a rear wheel. We've got to survive for two minutes. Two minutes is all we have to do. My car doesn't work. Because <laughs> barely works. Oh, Impega's gone. I think. I think the loss of wheels on Impega's car might have done it. Uh, we are all sorts of knackered here. I mean, it's better for me in some ways. We're spread out. We're further away from Amy. They're, oh, they're down the end of this straight, uh, which is kind of helpful. Oh, there's so many missile trucks. Uh, that one's going to bounce over there. We're all good. Minute and a half to go. Come on. Come on. Broken. Oh, blister. Oh, you've spun. <laughs> It's so difficult to steer it. It barely drives properly anymore. Uh, I mean, it kind of helps in some regards if we spin in an awkward place. Ah, Stevie's coming towards us. Oh, God. I don't know where Stevie's going to bounce. Uh, okay, no, it's still tumbling. Lost too much speed. I mean, that, that just spun on its own. I had no control. I barely got any control over this car anymore. Just... It just frankly, when, it spin, when it decides it wants to spin, it does. Oh, crap. Longbow's landed there. Oh, 
No, that's fine. We've got a lot of camber. Go underneath. No! I tried to get underneath the ewer and we just couldn't get it moving. It's gone. That's the end of the... It, it fought. It fought valiantly. It took a number of hits. I mean, yeah. That did a hell of a job. That did a hell of a job. I just couldn't hide behind another truck and now we have a very, very long respawn. Uh, there is only 30 seconds to go in this one. Uh, I'm not going to move. I'm just going to keep my vehicle in ghost mode. By the time I've got to the truck, I'll only have... I wouldn't I'd only maybe have one pass. So we'll be sort of spectator mode here. See if the pink vehicle uh, can possibly survive uh, until the uh, time. You've still got some time. Go. Go. you got ten... Well, they are the last one standing. I guess they're, they're going to count. I thought they were going to drive till the end. But, I mean, it looks in pretty good shape, to be fair. Uh-oh. Uh, uh <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> um, yeah, that's is uh, that that's goodbye to the blister. Although it's now it's now protected by a shield of missile trucks. Somehow survived that one quite out. Somehow has survived that one pretty well. All things said, um, it, it's it's off. It's lost some wheels and things. Oh, I've lost a rear wheel. Ah! Just leave leave me alone. We're fine. Ah, uh, we're less fine. We were a three-wheel blister for a bit. We've managed to die twice in this somehow. And they're all off chasing after the pink car that is somehow still alive. Well, there we have it. The first round victory uh, will go to Amy uh, with the with the pink blister. Oh, we fought, so we were so close. We just needed a couple more, a couple more passes, and that might have worked. Sadly, it did not. But. Uh, there we go. That was good fun. On to round number two. So, the first round was an awful lot of fun, and we came very, very close to winning it. Sadly, not quite. For the second round, I shall be starting off as the missile truck, so it shall be my job to cause as much chaos as possible. The vehicles that uh, we are going up against are Buccaneers this time around, and they also have the pretty heavy damage model in this, so they're going to take... They're going to take a fair bit of uh, a fair bit of a whack. Uh, do we go for? I was thinking about jumping in the oncoming lane, but there's been a big kerfuffle on this side. So instead, we're just going to launch ourselves. Ah, oh, we're not quite far enough. We're not quite close enough. Nope. Uh, they got going a bit too quickly. Uh, this is all about timing at the start. I mean, the later stages of this will just become chuck cars about. Um, for now, though, it just just chuck missile trucks about. This this one though, this will be all about uh, chaos. Inducing the chaos. Oh, no, not quite. Ah, still not quite got the timing down on that one. Uh, we weren't going to really reach them. So, which side are we going to be better off aiming for uh, this time around? I fear if we go for the oncoming lane, we might be a little bit too... Oh, we might get... And the Wraths! How did the Wraths survive? We skimmed the... We've turned the Wraths' buccaneer into a convertible. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, yeah, it was the rest of the rest of the get back now. <laughs> we turned a Buccaneer into a convertible, but that was not enough to kill it. Uh, we obviously got must have just bounced into the air. Uh, oh, there is level 8. Level 8 is gone. That will be uh, a second car joining the mess. Uh, unfortunately, because I keep resetting, I think the damage doesn't sink very well. Uh, also, I apologise for the sneezing dog in the background. I don't know whether you will have heard that one, but uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, damage doesn't always sink very well. I can't see what's going on here. And, well, that I could drive into a... <laughs> oh, sorry, Nareth. Just add insult to injury to Nareth's car. I was moving to let Lado go. <laughs> I didn't check where I was moving to. And we, uh, yeah, I may have caused Nareth some problems. Uh, right, we're actually going to try to be a little bit sneaky here. There's a big group of cars. Just going to go through the middle of all of them. Ah, oh, you and got out of the way. Okay, we've not quite got the timing. Not quite got the timing down on them. Uh, so, they're going to be... I mean, we're, the way we're working this is that we're kind of just jumping... The way we've got this timed currently, we're not going to jump the way level 8 is. We're jumping over this side of the railing. Uh, whoa. Get across. No, not going to get anybody. They're all going to be able to dodge. A uh, good bit of dodging from everybody in that one. Uh, where are they going to be? A little bit awkward. They might... They're not quite going to be in the right place for me on either of these positions. The other side, they're going to be too far away. They're going to have more than enough time, potentially, to dodge us. Uh, oh! Uh, 
I've got no steering. Oh, we got a hit on Gliska, and that kind of snooker shotted into Amy. I mean, it'll do a little bit of damage to the cars, and it does also change the position that we have in this field, if you like. I'm trying to slow down a little bit because I don't want to jump too far. We are going to jump too far. Uh, oh, nah. Ah, not quite. Not quite. It's difficult to time. It's difficult to time. Also, because you never know when they're going to have a crash on their own. You never know quite where they're going to appear. I think we're going to miss this one as well, sadly. Uh, we're going to give it a shot. Might hit some of them. Uh, oh, God. Again, the Revs is the unlucky one that gets clipped. Although, is a lucky enough one to survive. Uh, so, yeah, so far level 8's the only unlucky one to have... I mean, we can kind of go a little bit of teamwork together. There's a nice line of cars heading down this side. Level 8 is going straight on. Uh, we're going this way. Nah. Not quite getting it. Not quite getting the jump right. I mean, they're, they're clever enough to be hiding to the far side of all this. So I think maybe we are better off. We're not going to be... Uh, we might be... Might get level 8. Uh, level 8, might get Longbow and Wrath. We might not quite get there in time, though, for this. Uh, we've got some speed heading towards the corner. I think they're going to get there before I do. No, no break. Ah, <laughs> not quite. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Where are they... Where are vehicles going to be? I think we're going to be better off heading... It's not the group that... We're going to jump over one group. It's the second group. These lot here, Ewan and Amy, I can't quite get to. And can we get anybody at the corner? Nope. <laughs> I haven't got the steering. So the missile trucks are not very manoeuvrable. They're very, very heavy. They do a lot of damage if they hit, but they don't really steer. Uh, and that is the problem with these. They really do not steer very much at all. Uh, we're going to go too... Uh, yeah, we're going to go a bit too much there. Oh! I could not get it across in time to murder a Gliska. Uh, and a Blakey, I think, might have lagged slightly underneath us. Or we, or we bounced over the top of Blakey and did some damage in that. Not sure. Uh, we've, got to try, so we've got to try something else. It's just not working at the moment. We need some more vehicles to join us in doing the damage here. Uh, it is not quite working at the moment. Uh, we are going to fling ourselves towards the wall. And there we go. Amy, the winner last time out, got <laughs> handed on and exploded. Okay, now that's three trucks. That's good. I mean, they've got ten minutes to go. It's been a slower ramp up this time. We caught level 8 early. We then had a little bit of a downtime. It didn't quite go to plan. Now, I mean, we've got more trucks going this time. We've got more trucks going now, I should say. Which is something. Uh, there is a Ewan. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Not quite going to cut it, that one. I think we're going to have to try and time it. They are quite spread out. I think we're going to have to try and time it better. Almost to be chasing cars up the road. Uh, Lado and Longbow might be in a vulnerable position here. Uh, it might be perfectly positioned to uh, get one of them. Maybe. Ah, can't oh, I catch long, but yeah. I mean, they saw it coming. Sadly, they were paying attention. And this is the thing. When, when there's only two or three trucks going, it's easier to see them. It's easier to be aware of who's jumping in when. Later stages, way, way more difficult. I mean, if I get the jump perfect, then, you know, you might be able to just land on somebody anyway. Oh, dear. Longbow did crash into us, at least. That's something. Uh, <laughs> we found the refs again. <laughs> just if in doubt, if we block somebody in a really silly little crash, I can just guarantee you, for whatever reason, it's just going to be the refs. I don't know how that car is still alive, to be honest with you. Um, oh, I thought they were going to uh, not be able to change direction. Ah. <laughs> Damn it, that almost worked really well with using level 8 to uh, create a little bit of chaos. Uh, I mean, what way? Okay. Uh, we're never going to catch the cars coming that way towards us, so I think we're going to be better off just jumping this direction here. Uh, we're going to try and get a ladder. We missed. Uh, almost. Almost, but not quite good enough in that one. Okay, so they're going to make this turn. I think we're going to be better off jumping this time to the left-hand side. There's going to be something somewhere below us in all of this. Uh, Team Orange! Nearly got Team Orange. Nearly made it. Uh, well, it's a little bit cruel. He did some damage. Ah, oh, we tried to pin them a little bit for Amy to appear. 
We got some damage. They're, they're tough, these Buccaneers. They have they have been surviving some hits. I mean, we're breaking the field up a little bit. That is something. Well, actually, no, we don't really want it. We want it to be all clustered together uh, in this one. Amy's jumping that way. Ewan is going to be able to dodge us here. And we are not going to be able to catch Impega unless level 8 can manage to freak the car out. Ah! Well, how is that alive? I'm guessing Nerefs has lost a wheel. Nerefs! How are you alive? Yeah, Nerefs has lost a rear wheel. Uh, we will do a mercy. <laughs> there wasn't much merciful in that. <laughs> uh, that was brutal. I mean, I was going to push the car and try and run over it, but uh, Level 8 had a better idea. It was a solid plan, I think, that one, actually. Uh, I, I, I like that plan. As far as plans go, that was a pretty good one. Uh, Danger Man is going to actually go on the brakes there. Quite clever. Whoa! Can we, can we, can we, can we box in? Ah, oh, Amy's run out of speed on this one. Ah, oh, dear. Um, yeah, that has not quite, uh, not quite gone to plan. They decided to turn, go the other way around the loop. I think they have. They decided to just turn around. I mean, there's no rules against that. There was, there was no rules against that one at all. Um, they were more than, I say they can turn around if they want. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't think we have to do anything from there. Oh, no! What if I, it is important not to have one of our jumping trucks disconnect. We didn't really need that. That's made my life way more difficult now. Uh, we might get something head on here. Possibly. Uh, Lakey is gone. Uh, can we get across in time? Longbow will drive through. Can't steer and get Ewan. Stevie is clear. <laughs> we got what? Okay, we lost a level 8. We did, we did squish a Blakey. So that's something. Sorry, Blakey. Uh, but it was, uh, we did need another vehicle. We were, it was starting to look quite difficult for us here. Uh, right, okay. Here we go. Amy, here's the plan. Okay, fill the road with missile trucks. Oh, no. We managed to scatter. Scatter. Get Stevie at least. Get rid of one. There we go. Teamwork and all that. Okay, Amy's going to go up that side. Uh, <laughs> if we're going to go together, we're going to go in pairs. We'd bloody better get something in this. Uh, we've got to do better. Uh, I mean, we, we should... Probably try and do a little bit more teamwork on this one. I mean, there's a big gaggle of cars here uh, that Nerefs has managed to hit a longbow and not kill a longbow. Well, how is longbow alive? They've been run over by two trucks. <laughs> I thought, you know what? Longbow's having a bad day. It sucks at everything. But uh, I think Stevie might have been killed at some point now. The numbers are starting to dwindle. Amy has killed longbow. I'm going to guess longbow probably lost a wheel somewhere in all of that. Um... Oh, ladder got squished up against the wall. I cannot get myself turned. Uh, oh, you and I don't know how that didn't kill them. I think the Buccaneers are stronger than the Blisters, I think is what we're seeing. Uh, while the Blisters could survive hits if you bounced off them, these Buccaneers are actually surviving being run over a couple of times, which is very good going. Um, very good going indeed. The damage sadly not really showing for me, uh, which is a little bit disappointing really. Uh, not going to be able to make that turn, are we? Although we might be able to get a Gliska, depending on if they recognise, if they see that we are appearing at speed. Can't do it. <laughs> uh, they did see us coming in that one. I mean, that's... What we were doing there is basically hoping that Gliska hadn't looked at the minimap or spun the camera. They were looking elsewhere, and that I was going to be able to T-bone them kind of stealthily. I know difficult in a missile truck and everything, but still. Uh, it's surprising. Oh, how easy. Oh, there's level 8's truck uh, in that one. is dead. <laughs> I, I wanted just to have that crash to try and launch the truck further as it was tumbling, to be honest with you. That was all we were going for there. Uh, right, Blakey, let's go. Whichever side Blakey goes, we're going to follow because we're going to go for, like, double team approach here. Uh, Blakey's going over this side, so we shall as well make it really difficult to dodge us. Although, double team approach is probably more effective uh, if you go for uh, the oncoming lane, I think, uh, if we're going to go for that one, yeah. Uh, it was worth a try. But yeah, we're better off driving into oncoming traffic with uh, with two trucks here. Uh, Blakey is... No, oh, they're still going that side. That's fine. Uh, oh, we're going to clear in peg up. We're going to have a guess where a danger man might go. I was going to try and bounce off the wall and chase Lado, but the wall bounce wasn't as effective enough. Oh, Lado got clipped, but did not get taken out. Although I have a feeling Lado might be in trouble. Uh, hasn't exploded. There were a couple of trucks launching that way, and there was a stricken Lado, so I'm surprised... Uh, got away with it, but they did in all of this. Oh, there is an Impega that survived. God damn it, that was a great hit as well, and somehow Impega got away with it. Lado also took a big hit. There's a 
crunch into the wall, but not enough. I mean, I don't think we're going to kill all of them. We're going to need some luck here. These buccaneers are putting up a real, real fight. Uh, we're managing to ping them off walls and do significant damage. And they are taking the punishment quite well. Ah, uh, you and found a gap to go through. I haven't got the turning. Oh, the Nerez has put us round. Oh, he's another strong hit on Lado. But Lado's truck, Lado's truck, Lado's car survives. Okay, right. Here we go, Nerez. We've got a perfect. I mean, this is a perfect opportunity for a teamwork. Uh, just a whole block down this side. If there is anything around on this part of the road, we can potentially cause it a lot of grief. Ah. Damn it. We just haven't got the steering. We haven't got the I was trying to block off one way, but, y you know, I can go one way, Nerez can go the other, and then you leave a gap in the middle. Uh, you can't grab the handbrake, because, I mean, that's just not going to turn these trucks. Uh, there's only so much that you can ever really do with them. So, yeah. Uh, oh, not got any steering. Not got, not got enough steering on that one. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I was trying to corral Danger Man to the inside wall, and it worked, but we just didn't have another vehicle in place. Oh, I don't think we're going to get them. I mean, we've had some... These Buccaneers have, have really fought well. I don't think the damage is quite uh, showing as on our screen as well as it could, uh, or as well as it perhaps should be, as uh, these vehicles are surviving a lot of punishment. Yeah, and Pega found that gap through the middle. Um, yeah, the Buccaneers, they're, they're surviving in this, which is disappointing, really. We wanted more destruction and carnage and chaos and all of that stuff, but it's just not quite happened for us here. Uh, as we will jump. We're not going to be mistimed for those. Uh, we're going to bounce off of there. Uh, we're going to have absolutely no steering heading towards Gliska, and Impega can squeeze to the wall, and oh, I thought Nares was going to clear them out, but uh, somehow Impega found a gap to go through there. Uh, <laughs> it seems to be happening the way we've ended up timing this. Uh, we seem to be just murdering and going for, for Impega. Not intentionally, per se, it's just how it's, how it's working. Uh, right, can't see anything down here. Oh, God, just bounce. I can't turn. Oh, and Blakey's turned up. Blakey! Actually, well, it kind of worked. It, it sort of worked. We got tipped in two. Yeah. <laughs> just very low speeds. Oh, that's it. That is the time. The time is up. A lot of vehicles survived that one. Uh, an awful lot of vehicles survived that one, uh, which is surprising. Oh, dear. Uh, I had a wobble going on. I was farting around, and it didn't really work on that. Yeah, a whole load of vehicles survived there. Uh, we will just get up onto the uh, onto the platform. Well done to all these surviving vehicles. Buccaneers are stronger than I thought they were going to be there. Uh, we will soar through the air with the greatest of ease in a missile carrier. Um, yeah, I don't know if the damage... The damage is clearly not showing properly on my screen. We saw Lado missing a bumper at some point. Uh, so these are the vehicles that survived. We know we... Well... We got close to hitting an Impega a few times. We know Lado got a, got a few big clonks uh, in all of that. Uh, so there we go. We have five. I think it's the most that have ever survived one of these. Uh, it was quite an impressive amount of uh, impressive survival rate. Gliska has exploded. Uh, Impega has now lost a wheel at least. That's something. A couple of cars have run off. But uh, oh, Gliska's lo uh, Impega's lost. No, only lost one wheel. Um, no, no, Lado. No, no. <laughs> You shall not get out. Oh, no, never mind. I take it back. You shall get out of here. Uh, Pega. Well, we got, got the other wheel off in Pega's car before we blew it up. Uh, yeah. Well, there we go. That was some survival racing. Uh, the Buccaneers, surprisingly resilient in the grand scheme of things. Blisters were great fun. Uh, some crazy damage on that. On how, how mine kept going after all of that, I do not know. Uh, it did a hell of a job to uh, stay working. <laughs> Ah, uh, Danger Man's are hidden. Danger Man's got a hiding. Can the missile truck actually get down here to chase the Danger Man? It can. I really hope this platform runs out. Lado's being killed. Come on, the rest. We've got to go get a Danger Man. I don't know why we're going to chase it down a Danger Man, but we are. Yeah, about about this plan, the uh, the missile truck can kind of fill the road. <laughs> oh dear. Um. So yeah, this has been just some survival racing. <laughs> that works. And Naretz is off. Thank you very much uh, to Lado. Thank you very much to Lado for building this wonderful track. And thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.